The Ford River Rouge Complex is a Ford Motor Company automobile factory complex located in Dearborn, Michigan, along the River Rouge, upstream from its confluence with the Detroit River at Zug Island. Construction began in 1917, and when it was completed in 1928, it was the largest integrated factory in the world, surpassing Buick City, built in 1904. It inspired the Il Seguin Renault factory in 1920, the gas factory built in the 1930s in the Soviet Union, as well as the later Hyundai factory complex in Ulshan, South Korea, which was developed beginning in the late 1960s. Designed by Albert Kahn, River Rouge was designated as a National Historic Landmark District in 1978 for its architecture and historical importance to the industry and economy of the United States. The Rouge Complex measures 1.5 miles of factory floor space, with its own docks in the dredged Rouge River, 100 miles of anterior railroad track, its own electricity plant, and integrated steel mill. The Titanic Rouge was able to turn raw materials into running vehicles within this single complex, a prime example of vertical integration production. More than 100,000 workers were employed there, even during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Some of the River Rouge buildings were designed by architect Albert Kahn. His Rouge glass plant was regarded at the time as an exemplary and humane factory building, with ample natural light provided through windows in the ceiling. Since the late 20th century, several buildings at the Rouge complex have been renovated and converted to green structures with a number of environmentally friendly features. In the summer of 1932, through Edsel Ford's support, Mexican artist Diego Rivera was invited to study the facilities at the Rouge. These studies informed his set of murals known as Detroit Industry, which have been on continuous display at the Detroit Institute of Arts since their completion in 1933. The plant's first products were Eagle Boats. World War I anti-submarine warfare boats produced in Building B. The original Building B, a three-story structure, is part of the legendary Dearborn assembly plant, which started producing Model A's in the late 1920s and continued production through 2004. After the war, production turned to forts and tactors, although the Rouge produced nearly all the parts of the Model T. Assembly of that vehicle remained at Highland Park. It was not until 1927 that automobile production began at the Rouge. With the introduction of the Ford Model A, during World War II the Rouge complex produced jeeps, aircraft engines, aircraft components and parts, tires and tubes, armor plate, and tactors. Other Rouge products included the 1932 Model B, the original Mercury, the Ford Thunderbird, Mercury Capri, and four decades of Ford Mustangs. The old assembly plant was idled with the construction and launch of a new assembly facility on Thay. Miller Road side of the complex, currently producing Ford F-150 pickup trucks. The River Rouge complex manufactured most of the components of Ford vehicles. Starting with the Model T, many of the vehicles were compiled into knockdown kits, then sent by railroad to various assembly locations across the United States to be locally assembled using local supplies as necessary. After the 1960s, Ford began to decentralize manufacturing, building several factories in major metropolitan centers. The Rouge was downsized, with units sold off to independent companies, many still operating independently to this day. On May 26, 1937, a group of workers attempting to organize a union at the Rouge were severely beaten. An event later called the Battle of the Overpass, Peter A. Martin's respect for labor led to Walter Ruther, a UAW leader, allowing Martin to be the only Ford manager to retrieve his papers or gain access to the plant. The Rouge was one of only three locations where Ford manufactured the Mustang. The other sites were Matuchin Assembly and Malpitas Assembly in San Jose, California. By 1987, only Mustang production remained at the Dearborn assembly plant. In 1987 Ford planned to replace that car with the front-wheel drive Ford Probe. But public outcry quickly turned to surging sales, with the fourth-generation Mustang a success. The Rouge was saved as well. 
Ford decided to modernize its operations. A gas explosion on February 1, 1999 killed six employees and injured two dozen more, resulting in the idling of the power plant. Michigan utility CMS Energy built a state-of-the-art power plant across Miller Road to replace the electricity and steam production, as well as the blast furnace waste gas consumption of the original power plant. As it ended production, Dearborn Assembly Plant was one of six plants within the Ford Rouge Center. The plant was open from 1918 to May 10, 2004, with a red convertible 2004 Ford Mustang GT being the last vehicle built at the historic site. Demolition of the historic DAP facility was completed in 2008. All that remains is a 30.